Hi everybody, this is David Fine from Keys Moz. I'm here with one of my friends, Sada. How you doing, Sada? I'm good. You good? You're in our house because we're about to have a little birthday party for somebody. And Sada was commenting on some of my butterflies. So Sada, so you like butterflies, right? Yeah. Yeah. And do you have a favorite butterfly? No. No? Okay, but, but you like butterflies, huh? Yeah, I, I like all of them. You like all of them? This is a box of insects and butterflies and moths, actually there's some moths in there, that we have in display in my house. And what we're gonna do is, Sada's, Sada was just asking questions, I'm like, wait a minute, we just gotta record this. Sada, as you look at this box of butterflies and moths and beetles and wasps. What's a wasp? Wasp? What's a wasp? Oh, let's find some good wasps. Now, uh, this one here, yeah, that's called an ichneumon wasp. And here's another ichneumon wasp right here. Those guys are actually wasps that come and they lay their eggs on butterfly caterpillars and they actually eat the butterfly caterpillars. Yeah, so what's kind of, what kind of um, beetle? Then? Oh, you like the beetle? Yeah. Okay, so that is a metallic wood boring beetle from Asia. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. You ever think Wait. beetles could be pretty? I never thought about that. You never thought about that? <laughs> We've got some really cool beetles. And here's some other ones. You see these guys? Yeah, I love beetles. That one too. That one too. Oh, yeah. That's a another metallic, metallic wood boring beetle. They're called Buprestids. But it's, it's interesting that you actually gravitated first to beetles. Now, you, you must be a real insect lover if, if you just go right to beetles. <laughs> Butterfly it looks like a. I know, I already. What does it look like to you? Um, how do you say it again? Um, a. Uh, how do you call it? I know what it is, but I forgot the name. Oh, yeah. See, so that's. Uh, you're Brazilian, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is your first language English or Portuguese? Portuguese. Portuguese. So your first language is Portuguese and you learn English. Okay, so that, that's fair. I'm going to help you out with the name. So the name of the, it looks kind of like a bird, the eyes of a bird called an owl. Yeah. Right? I knew the name, but I forgot. You it. forgot it. All right. Hey, good, good job. You remember it. So this is an owl butterfly and they have. They scare other birds that want to eat them. Correct. You know what that's called? Camouflage. Camouflage. It's a kind of camouflage called mimicry. So when, when something when something looks like another animal or plant, that's called mimicry. So the, the owl butterfly has these big fake eye spots on its, on its hind wings, and they hope to scare away birds. Just, you got it. Good job on recognizing wing patterns and how it's actually a defense mechanism of the butterfly to help it keep stay alive. And this one looks like the water is dropping out of it. Like oh yeah. So like the, how the, the green scales on the hind wing kind of like fade out. Yeah, and like some dirt is on it and then. Yeah, uh, that's so like, cool. What's this? That? Oh, that's a good question. So this is a beetle from Florida. This is Florida's largest beetle. And this is actually what it, with its wings closed. And did you know that beetles fly? Did you know that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the top wing of a beetle is actually its shell. And the, the top wing of the beetle folds down over the top like this and hides the back wing, the hind wing. And so the, the actual shell of the beetle is actually its, its forewing. So like a butterfly has a forewing and a hind wing. So imagine if the forewing was really hard and kind of slid over the top of the hind wing to protect it. And that's exactly what a beetle, uh, the shell of a beetle is. It's really just the, the forewings. And then the hind wings actually have joints. You can see it. Go, go like this, go like this with your elbow. All right, so this is an elbow. This is called a joint, right? So the, the wings of a beetle actually have a joint and it's like right there. And so what happens is the wing folds and then the whole wing folds up and goes on top of the body. And then the, the top wing slides down over the top and covers covers the wing and protects it. Oh, 
so like this is a shell, like kind of like it's shell. Yep, it's a shell. Oh. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. I love these guys. These are my favorites. Yeah. If anybody will ever know what my favorite family of butterflies are, it's hair streaks. Just so you know. Love me some hair streaks. Now this yellow one is pretty cute. You like that one? Yeah. Now that one we actually have here in South Florida. A lot of these are from all around the world. But this is one we actually have in South Florida. Yeah. That's called an orange barred giant sulfur. Oh, I already saw one of those little butterflies. This one. Yeah. Before. But like, um, this one I never, I never like saw them like as Up close. close. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the that's the cool thing about having a few specimens. So you can actually get an up close look and kind of study them and see what they look like and see what they feel like. It's pretty cool. Is this one supposed to be like that, or did it like make holes? Oh, so that's a great question. This is a butterfly in the family called Ithomid glasswing. So this whole butter this whole family of butterflies. There's, they have uh, wings that don't have any scales on portions of the wings. And so you can see right through them. So there's actually, if you turn it in the light, you can actually see how there is a, a thin membrane there that makes up the wings so that they can actually fly, but they just don't have any color on them. Oh, so it's like um, a plastic on it? Yeah, it, well, actually, here, let me see your fingers. All right, see so your fingernail? Mm -hmm. Your fingernail is made up of a chemical called keratin. And the wings of a butterfly are made up of the same chemical as your fingernails. So that's a real thin layer of keratin. And then on top of the wing layer are little scales that give the butterfly its colors. There's, there's millions and millions of little scales on top of the wing of a butterfly and they, that's what gives the butterfly its color. But if there's no scales, like in this guy. It can't fly. No, it can fly. Yeah, but like, if there's like the, it didn't have the, the, the thing. If it didn't have the keratin, the, yeah, yeah then it wouldn't be able to fly. Yeah, but, but it does have, it does have it. You can see the membrane layer there as it, the, the light reflects off of it. It's got no scales, so you can actually see right through it. You can actually see the white, background the cloth background right through the wings right yeah you can actually see the label for that that bug right through the wing it's pretty cool isn't it yeah. good observation yeah it's a cool bug and this one is i kind of like i don't know it looks like you put fire on it it's like i put fire on it yeah <laughs> that's cool i love that butterfly that's that's a really neat butterfly from How costa rica how does he run away from animals that want to eat? He runs away from animals. Well, if we, I can't open this box, but uh, if you were to flip him upside down, the underside of his wings looks just like a leaf. Mm -hmm. So it's it actually camouflages or mimics a, a dead leaf. And what they'll do is they'll go land in a pile of dead leaves and they'll just close their wings so you can't see the pretty red color and it looks just like a leaf and they disappear. I mean, you can't see them. That's oh, how, wow. how they hide from birds and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Every animal has its own camouflage or mimical. Mimicry, yes they do. Every animal has its own ways of surviving, right? Yeah. You're so smart. Mm -hmm. Where'd you learn all that? Um, uh, different places. Different places, yeah. Kind of like school. Some in school, some, you know, on the internet or whatever. My mom and dad. Your mom and dad, they teach you stuff. That's awesome. So in Brazil, did you know Brazil has like more butterflies than almost any other place in the world? Yeah. Yeah. Brazil's has lots and lots of butterflies. So one of these days, I got to make it down to the Amazon and check out the Brazilian Amazon butterflies. That'd be cool. Um, my mom is saying for you to come to Brazil. Me. Oh, let's let's go to Brazil one day. That would be awesome. Maybe you could show me around. Is any of these butterflies from Brazil? Let's see. Are any of these butterflies from Brazil? Well, I don't know if I actually have any from Brazil, but things like this blue morpho, I believe that blue morpho is from French Guiana. 
which is right pretty kind of close to Brazil, sort of. And uh, it's from the Amazon. And so this butterfly also lives in Brazil, but this they're not actually from Brazil. So like they they was they were born someplace else and then they went there. Uh, well, actually, it's it's like uh, it's like people. People live in many different countries, right? So it's the same kind of creature, but it lives and just lives in a different country. So, um, but this butterfly lives in lives in Brazil. We have we got in Brazil. We have proponas like this that are pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else. A lot of these guys are from Asia. Um, that Brazil has a bunch of these swallowtails called parietes. They've got a whole family of parietes that look like this. And they have, um, they have some of these leaf wing, cool leaf wing things, these big nymphalids. They've got some of those. Um, they've got some of these cool, actually that guy's got iridescent purple. If you shine the light on it the right way, but I can't see it. Oh, I see it. I mean, you see it? Okay. See the purple? Yeah, like over here. Yeah. This guy's from El Salvador. And this, yeah, <laughs> Noemi from across the house is woohoo. Uh, and this one is from Costa Rica. Wow. Yeah. What about this one? This is from El Salvador as well. This is Evinus regalis, the regal hair streak. Wow. It's pretty cool. That's one of my favorite butterflies right there. I love that butterfly. Underneath, they look a lot like this. It's a little different, but kind of the same. Same thing, they got those really cool green iridescent scales and reddish color, they're, they're absolutely beautiful. Let's see. What else, what else do you see? Uh, I forgot the name of this one. What does that look like to you? Um, this looks like a river, like the, it's called, like if you look at a map. Yeah, what, the, the, the hind wings here? Yeah, the yeah. under one. Oh, and what, what about up here, what does that look like? Um, over here, the first one. No, um, before the, this one. Oh, you're there. looking like really in close, aren't you? Yeah. See oh, okay. This part right over here. Yeah. And right here. Yeah. And. It kind of looks like a river. And then what about this orange part with the orange and black? Yeah, that looks like um, a cheetah. Like, like a, a cheetah. A dot looks like a cheetah. <laughs> That's awesome. It kind of does look like a cheetah. And these sides, like on the last one, has this, like these sides. Yeah. It looks like a spider web. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at that. Well, you know what? As many times as I've looked at that butterfly, I never thought cheetah. But now, I will never see that butterfly and not see a cheetah ever again. I'm always going to see a cheetah yeah. every time. my favorite animal. They are your favorite animal? Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Well, Sada... Thank you so much for being on one of my Keys Moz videos and for checking out my butterfly collection. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. All right, someday we'll go, go to Brazil and you show me around, all right? Okay. Show me some big blue morphos, okay? All right, guys, hope you liked the video. Thanks so much for watching. Give Sada a hand. Give me a thumbs up for Sada. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, guys, take care. Let's get out there and find some really, really cool bugs. Bye now.